Hi friends, it's Miss Thomas. How are you guys doing today? I am feeling wonderfully well today. So we are back together again, and you know what we always have to do? We have to start off with our objectives. Are you ready to go? Yes, I'm ready to go, so I know you are ready to go. So let's see what our objectives are for today. Okay, I'm going to put it a little bit closer to see if you can see that and read that. All right, our objectives are all about measurement skills today. So we are going to recognize and compare heights and lengths. Height is how tall something is or how short something is. We're going to compare length. Length is how long something is or how short something is. So we're going to be comparing heights and lengths of people and objects. We're going to be doing more objects than people today. Our next one that we're going to do, we're going to recognize how much a container can hold. That means if I pour some water in a container, a container can be like a cup, a box, a bowl, or even a pot. How much can that object hold inside of it? And then our last thing that we're going to do is we're going to recognize and compare weights of people or objects. Well, we're going to compare the weights of objects. So we're going to be working on measurement skills, how tall something is, how long something is, or how heavy something is, or how light something is. And we're going to compare if we pour water in a container, how much can it hold? So that's all about our measuring skills today. So guess what? You know Miss Thomas likes to read. We are going to pull out a book that we've talked about before, but we're going to use it in a different way today. Are you good with that? Give me a thumbs up. Cool. I'm good with that too. I'm going to lay my um, objectives down and we're going to get our book. Are you ready? We're going to put the objectives right there. We're going to get our book, and our book is going to be about the best bug parade. Can you guess what this book is going to be about? Yeah, it has to do something with our measurement skills, right? For how something tall something is, how long something is, or maybe how big something is. Could something be big, bigger? Could something be the biggest? That's what we're going to find out in this book. But let's quickly go over our reading skills or our, our parts of the book. We know that this is the front cover of the book. This is the back cover of the book. And this is the spine, the part that holds the book together. So the title of our book is called The Best Bug Parade. Hmm, got some bugs in it, right? And so that means you think we're going to be measuring some bugs because our, our objectives talk about measurement skills. I believe we are. I like your prediction. A prediction is just a guess. It's not right. It's not wrong. It's just your opinion. What do you think will be happening? What do you think is going to be in the book? So let's check it out. Here's my first bug. My bug says, I am big. Hmm, he does look big on here, right? So remember, we are comparing, we are measuring. Hmm, I am bigger than you. So remember the first bug, he says, I'm big. This bug says, I am bigger. That's true. Hmm, let's see some more bugs. Do you think the bug is going to be bigger than the bug that he said was big? Wow, he says, I'm the biggest bug by far, and he is. Wow, look at his wings, how they stretch out really big. So here he says, here's the first bug. He says, I'm big. The next bug says, I'm bigger. And he says, I'm biggest. So there's that measurement. Measurements how tall, how long, so that, or how big. He's big, bigger, biggest. I like those. 
So you think they're going to be in the butt parade since they're talking about how tall, how long, or how big they are? Well, I hope you're going to find out at the end of this story. Next one, then they all say, good. So if you're big, bigger, or biggest, he says, good. So here's the next bug. He says, I'm small. He's small. That's what he says. Then he says, I'm smaller than you. So look at him. Look at that guy. So remember, he says, I'm small. He says, hmm, I'm smaller than you. See what he said? Then he says, I'm the smallest bug of them all. So remember, he said, I'm small. Then he said, I'm smaller. I'm the smallest of them all. So look over here. They put them where we can see them together. So he says, I'm small. That's true. Then he goes, I'm smaller. That's true. And then he says, I'm the smallest. Do you see? He is the smallest. So that's another way that we can use our measurement. We can talk about things that are small, smaller than the smallest. Yeah, then I like making those teeny tiny voices. I'm small. Well, I'm smaller. Uh-uh, I'm the smallest. So my voice got small, smaller, and smallest. So there they are. The bugs are being in the bug parade. Do you see the small bugs? Do you see the other bugs from um, earlier? And then he goes, hmm, at first they say, that's good. Now they're saying, that's better. So even if you're small, smaller, or smallest, that's good. That's better. It's cool to be small and big bug. Let's see what that's is coming he says, I'm long. Again, we're using those measurement terms, those measurement skills. We talked about big, bigger, biggest. Then we talked about small, smaller than the smallest. Now he says, I'm long. Can you make a prediction on what the buds are going to say next? Remember, prediction is just a guess. What do you think? the buds are going to say. So he's going, I'm long. What do you think this bug is going to say? Yeah, come on. I want your thinking. Hmm. He says, I'm longer than you. Did you guys guess that's what he was going to say? I'm longer than you? Because he says, I'm long. I'm longer than you. Look what's in the grass. It's another bug. Yeah, let's see what's going on. Then he says, but I am the longest bug in view. View means that you can see. I'm the longest bug that you can see. I'm the longest bug in the view. So look at him, he is a long bug. He covers two pages in the book. So our first book, he says, I'm long. He says, I'm longer. I'm the longest bug. Look on this page here. They put them together where we can see it. He says, I'm long. I'm longer. I'm longest. Again, that's measuring. We're using our eyes to see which bug is long, longer and the longest did you guess that's what that bug was going to say if you did your prediction was correct if you didn't guess guess what it is okay now they're in the bug parade so far so remember the bugs were saying that's good that's better now this one it says the best I like how these bugs are encouraging each other. They're being nice to each other. They're being respectful to each other. 
so far. Let's look at the bugs. Here's the bugs in the bug parade so far. So remember at the very beginning, we had big, bigger, biggest. Then we had small, smaller, smallest. Now we had long, longer, longest. I like the way these bugs are measuring. And now they're going to all be in a bug parade. How cool is that? Then he says, I'm short. Hmm. This guy says, I'm shorter than you. Because sometimes short can be this way or short can be this way. You know what, Miss Thomas? I'm short, so I'm short this way. And sometimes short can be this way. All right, let's see what the bug says. He says, I'm shorter than you. There's a bug hiding in the grass. Can you see him? He's right there. You got some good eyes. Then he says, I'm the shortest bug of the sort. So even though they made him look big, but he said he's the shortest bug of the sort. Let's look on this page here. So he says, I'm short, shorter, the shortest. So you can even call those bugs small. Sometimes we can use the word short and small interchangeable. That means we can use them either way. So you can say he's small, smaller, or smallest. But this case, we want to say that he's short, shorter, shortest. Yeah. I like how this book helps us explain measurement with the bugs. So look at that. The bugs are all in the bug parade. So it says good, better, best. And that's what we like. We want to be good. We want to be better. We want to be the best. So you think this is like the best bug parade ever? I like it because it helps us measure. It helps us to measure. Let's see if there's anything else in the book they want us to know. Oh, yeah. It says we are all together long and short, big or small. We are not just good or better. We are the best bug parade of all. I have to agree with them. They are the best bug parade of all. How cool is that? I bet some of those bugs that were short and small, I bet they didn't weigh a whole lot. I bet they were light. I bet they were heavy. So we're going to keep moving on. We're going to continue measuring other objects that could be big, small, tall, or long. Okay, I'm going to put my book right here. The first thing that I'm going to bring out, I'm going to bring out my friends. I like giraffes. Betty, I love giraffes. So I have some friends that are giraffes. I'm going to pull them out. Here's my first giraffe friend. And we're going to measure how tall my giraffes are. So here's one guy right there. I'm going to bring out another friend giraffe to see if you can see him. I'm going to put him right there to see if he'll stand up for me. Okay, here's another giraffe. So look at all these giraffes. Let me move some of my things over so you can see all my giraffe friends. And then I have a small giraffe. He's like a little giraffe. So I have some giraffes that are tall. Yeah. Uh-oh, like he doesn't want to sit up. Uh-oh. So I have some friends that are tall. So they're like they're the same. And I have a friend that is small or he's short. So if I put him right there and this guy right there, this giraffe is tall. This giraffe is short. So we have tall or we can call him long. And this giraffe is short or we can call him small. So see, we can measure things that are around our house. Guess what? My giraffes are in my house, so I can go and get it. So you don't have to go get anything that's outside or at school. You can find things that are at your house that are tall or long, that are short or small. Oh, what about long this way? 
that's cool. All right, so I'm going to move my giraffe friends over. And now we're going to talk about some shapes. We're going to talk about some shapes. Uh-oh, my giraffe friend, he doesn't want to sit down. So I'm going to put him down on the carpet. Let's see if he'll sit there. Yes, he'll sit there. All right, so let me pull some things up. Let me find my sticky note, my sticky. And my sticky is going to help us to measure some shapes. We're going to measure some shapes. You didn't know we could measure shapes? Well, guess what? Now you know today. We're going to measure some. We're going to start off with some squares, okay? We're going to start off with a big square. I made a square right here. I'm going to put it right there so you can see it. So there's a big square. What, what kind of square is that? Yes, he is big, a big square. So what do you think is going to come next? Maybe a medium-sized square? Could be. Let's see. You're like, wow, Miss Thomas, how did you make those? Where I made my squares, they're called ang legs or just regular old long legs. So there's a shape there. You ready for another one? Here's another square. Look at that. According to the, the bug book, I have some squares that are, we can say that are big, bigger, biggest. Or I even have one more. Let me see if I can squeeze him in there. Look at these cool shapes that Miss Thomas made for you. I'm going to move it over just a little bit so you guys can see the measurements of the shapes. So look at that. How cool is that? So we can say smallest. We can say smaller. Right? Smallest. What do you think? Smaller? Smaller even more? And the smallest? No way, Miss Thomas. How about we say this shape is big and it gets smaller, smallest, smallest. Yes, did you know that we can measure shapes? We can. We can put them in order. So let's take off. Even if I take off the big square, we still can measure the shapes like we did the bugs. We can measure the shapes like we did the bugs. We can say he is small. We can say he's smaller. And then we can say he's the smallest, right? Yes, we can do that. Or sometimes we say he is big, bigger, the biggest. Did you know there's another way we can say those shapes too? That's right. We can say big, medium, and small. But where would this big joker go if I stick him right there? Would he be the biggest, the biggest square of all? He would be the biggest square of all. The biggest square. So let me see if I can hold it up for you. Look at that. So we have big, right? We can say big, bigger, biggest, and the biggest square of all. Or we can say big, medium, small, or the biggest of all. He's big. He's bigger, he's medium, and he's small. So there's different ways that we can measure things in and around our house or if we was at school. Okay, let's do another one. Let's do some more shapes. I'm going to take these shapes off. I'm going to place them down on the carpet because we're done with those. Let's try some triangles. Yeah, you're probably asking, Miss Thomas, what are you talking about? We can have... We can measure triangles too. Absolutely, doodly, we can measure triangles. So look, we have a big triangle. Yeah. Here's a medium-sized triangle. What, Miss Thomas? How did you do that? Sometimes I like to think it's magic, but it's not magic. It's that I just find my little ang leg and I create the shapes out of the ang leg. Can you see those cool uh, triangles? Yes, I can see those cool triangles too. 
and all of these items is that we can measure. Measure is, again, is asking how tall something is, how short something is, how long, or how even short. Remember the bugs say short, shorter, shortest. That's what some of my triangles are. They're going from short all the way down to the shortest. Or you can say they're tall and they go all the way down to the smallest triangle. Or you can start down here and say, okay, they're small. Then they go all the way up to the tallest triangle. So no matter what you do, how you want to measure, you just put them in a row. And then you can use your eyes to tell how tall they are or how short they are. So just looking at our triangles, we know the red triangle is the tallest triangle or the biggest triangle. The yellow triangle, he's like a medium-sized triangle. Yeah, he is. And then we have the purple triangle. He's a small triangle. And then the orange triangle is the smallest triangle of them all. How cool is that? That's like so cool. Can you give me a holy moly guacamole? Can you give me that? I'm going to say it with you. You ready? Holy moly guacamole. So these are some of the things that I just found around my house. If you have some things around your house, could you can ask your mom, your dad, your big brother, your big sister, grandma or grandpa or whoever the grown up that's in your house that takes care of you. You can make sure they help you. Okay, so let's go move on to some things that are heavy and how much a container can hold. So I'm going to put my chart down on the floor for you. I'm going to put my little sticky right there. And I have some containers, like some pots, like your mom or your grandmother cook with pots. So I have some pots that are considered containers. So look at these cool pots here. Guess what? I'm going to measure these pots as well. Look at these pots. The pots, I can measure how big, medium, and small a pot is. He's like tall, he's medium, and he is small. And did you notice that my small pot can fit inside my medium pot? And my medium and small pot can fit inside my big top. And did you know, oh my God, if I pick them up, they are heavy. Yes, they are heavy. Heavy means that they weigh a lot. They are heavy. So in order not to be so heavy, I'm going to take some of those things out of the pot. So I'm taking the medium pot out. Cool. And I'm going to take the small pot out. So there we go. These are containers. Even though we cook with these pots, your mom cook with these pots, but we can tell how heavy something is or how light something is. And these pots, they're called containers. And what we're going to do is we're going to find out how much can a container hold. So I have a picture. Here's another container. I have a picture. This picture has some water in it. So my question is, do you think all of this water in this container, in this picture, can fit in one of these pots? Do you think so? I think so too. Yes. So do we want to pour it in the big pot? Do we want to pour it in the medium-sized pot? Or do we want to pour it in the small pot? What do you think? Yeah? You say the big pot too? Cool! I like the big pot too. So here we go. Let's pour it inside. Do you think all of it's going to go inside there? Whoa, look at that. It's going in. That's a lot of water. It's going, 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 going. It's all gone. So if you took that guess and said all the water in the container can fit in the big pot, you were right. Can you give yourself a woohoo? Yeah, you did it. So here's my next question. So now we're done with all the water out of the container because it holds a lot of water. It's something that it can hold. This container held some water. So now, do you think the water inside this pot can go inside this pot without spilling over? Because we don't want to make a mess. We don't want to spill anything. So what do you think? Let me give you five seconds to get thinking. 
This is my thinking face. Hmm. I'm going to give you five Mississippi. You ready to do a thinking face? Let's do a thinking face. Hmm. One Mississippi, two Mississippis, three Mississippis, four Mississippis, five Mississippis. That was our thinking time. So you ready? So we're going to try to pour some of the water in this pot in the medium sized pot. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Let's see how it goes. Are we ready? Yes, go, go, Miss Summer. Look at the water. It's going. It's going. Uh oh. I gotta stop because it's gonna overflow. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of water in that pot. It's a lot of water. So I still have some water in this pot. Where do you think the water can go? Well, if it can't go in this pot anymore because it's full, can we pour it in the little pot? Yes, we can pour it in the little pot. Let's see. Are you ready? Let's see. Uh-oh, we spilled a little bit, but guess what? It's okay because math is cool. Math can be messy sometimes. You guys did a great job at helping me think about all the water that came out of the pitcher, that came out of the jug. It went inside the pot. This pot poured in that pot. That pot poured in that. So we just thought how much a container can hold. And the type of containers we have, we have pot containers. And yes, some of the water spilled, but guess what? That's okay. We're okay with that. Friends, I had such a good time with you guys. Do you think we can pour this water back inside the big pot and it's going to fit in there? Of course we can. Let's check it out. Are you ready? I'm going to pick it up. And we're going to pour it in. So there you go. The water is going back in. How cool is that? Wow. And then the water from the other little bitty pot. Could it go in there too? Yes, it can. Look at that. Hey, you guys did it. We did it. So you, while you're at home, you can ask your grown-up that takes care of you to help you with the pots, to help you with the containers. See how much they can hold. And is the container heavy? That means it goes way, way, way down. Or if the container is light. So if I was to pick up this container, this pot, guess what? Oh, it's so heavy. Why? You guessed it. It has water in the container, in the pot. But if I was to pick up this pot, look. Doop, very light. Why? Because there's nothing in there. There's nothing in the container. So yes, it is heavy to hold. You can hold it with one hand. You can hold it with two hands. But the other container, the other pot, I cannot hold it with one hand. I can hold it with two hands. But friends, that's all the time I have with you today. I'm going to see you next time. So remember, have someone at home to help you do a lot of measuring. Remember, measurement is how tall something is, how short something is, how long something can be, or how small something can be. Measure also means how heavy can something be or how light something can be. I like you guys. I love you guys. You guys have a great time today, okay? And I'm going to see you right back here next time. Okay, friends? Bye. See you guys later. Bye-bye.